Hey y'all, Nicole here, your Gulf Coast gal. I am at the Mississippi Aquarium on Highway 90 in Gulfport. We are here to do a penguin encounter. I am so excited. It's one of the new offerings here at the Mississippi Aquarium. And uh, along with the, quite a few other things, I'll be sure to drop a link to the penguin encounter information as well as all of the other things that they have going on. But we're gonna go inside. We're gonna have a Q&A and learn a little bit more about the African penguins that they have. And then we get to meet a penguin. We can take pictures and pet the penguin. And I don't think I've ever pet a penguin. Have you pet a penguin before? I wonder what they feel like. Maybe wet, like wet and slimy. I'm not quite sure, but we're gonna go find out. Join me, come along. I'll take y'all along. We'll, uh, we'll go on this experience together. So let's go head on in and meet our penguin. Her name is Pumpkin. Now Pumpkin is an African penguin. She is three years old, which is actually quite young for a penguin. Hi. Hi Pumpkin. Thank you. So as I mentioned, she is three years old. This is full grown for an African penguin. I'm gonna have you guys come up here and interact with her and touch her. When you go to touch Miss Pumpkin, I'm just gonna ask that we touch nice and gentle all the way down her back, just like this. Just like when you meet somebody new for the first time, you don't really want them reaching out and touching you in the face. So please avoid Pumpkin's face and her mouth as you touch. I'm also going to let you guys know that Pumpkin is very inquisitive. So if you have any jewelry on your body, anything shiny, she might investigate that. You don't have to remove jewelry, okay. but just know she might be a little bit inquisitive. Remember, penguins hunt fish. So if they're in the ocean and they see something reflective, it's probably a fish and they're gonna chase after it. So any sort of reflections on our bodies, she's gonna investigate those. Um, so Ms. Pumpkin is an endangered species. There's only about 30,000 African penguins left in South Africa. There's about 15,000 mated pairs and one of the major threats that they're facing right now is actually overfishing and habitat destruction. So Pumpkin here is an ambassador for her species. She represents all the African penguins that are found on the south coast of Africa. And we're hoping that by you guys meeting her today, you'll be inspired to do your part to help take care of penguins in the wild. So I'm gonna invite you guys up one at a time to interact with her. What's really great is we can ask any questions. Yes. Can we buy one of those in the gift shop? <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually adopt a penguin, but it is a plushy penguin. There's actually a QR code right over there on my banner. So you can take a plushy penguin home with you, but Miss Pumpkin, she's gonna stay here with us. <laughs> we identify her because the only other way to tell penguins apart is by looking at the pattern of dots on their chest, as well as the pattern of skin on their feet. These two areas are like penguin fingerprints. That's how researchers tell penguins apart in the wild. So Africa as well as Namibia. So they are used to climates between 50 all the way up to 90 degrees. So here in South Mississippi, <laughs> yeah, those are her downy feathers that you see there. So here in South Mississippi, she is comfortable in the heat. She does not mind our temperatures at all. There's actually 18 different species of penguin and they're all found south of the equator. Our African penguins, so they were actually born at a zoo in Virginia, and we decided that we wanted to have a penguin colony here as part of the aquarium because they have a great conservation message. Since they are an endangered species and because we've seen a rapid decline in their numbers over the years, we want to be able to provide an experience for guests to meet them one-on-one -on -one and do our part. Come on. Some places will have been raised twice right. a year, yeah. um, but we're probably just going to have to do it once a year. It is also very physically taxing for them, right? It takes a lot of energy to Super maintain soft. a nest, mm -hmm. to lay cute. an egg, to incubate an egg. You're not eating every day like they would be to actually. So it does take a toll on them, so we want to kind of limit that and say, we're just going to have you do it once a year. Okay. Yeah, so we have three pairs right now. Um, two of the pairs actually made it. One, this is her second year. The other pair, this was her first time laying an egg. So, um, Where are we going? All science related. <laughs> they were just incubated. Um, Thank you, Pumpkin. They're probably too young. They're not sexually mature. See you later, alligator. Um, see you. But we don't know. But we'll get <laughs> the on the side. So she does uh, respond to our voices 
but my relationship with her took probably about three months before she was really comfortable being handled and picked up. And that's my favorite part about working with her. All done with our penguin encounter. That was such a unique experience. I'm so glad that the Mississippi Aquarium is offering it now. Um, I'll be sure to post a link below with all of the information so you can book your very own penguin encounter. I've never had the chance to pet a penguin before. It was a really unique experience. Um, all of her feathers, she was a lot softer than I anticipated and just the cutest and had just a wonderful personality. Pumpkin was the sweetest and it was really cool to not only be able to learn more about penguins, African penguins, and how the species is endangered, but also, but also the efforts the Mississippi Aquarium is working on to help the species get off of that endangered list. They do have 11 penguins on camp campus that they rotate through the interactions so you can come and meet pumpkin one time and then another penguin the next and I loved how pumpkin had that orange band signifying that that was indeed pumpkin with 11 penguins I'm sure it's hard to tell them apart sometimes if you're not one of their trainers um, because their patterns she was saying um, on their their chest their feather patterns and then the patterns on their feet are kind of like their fingerprints which I thought was just fascinating after the penguin encounter, you can head over to the Gulf Shop, which is their gift shop here at the Mississippi Aquarium, and adopt your very own penguin. All right, y'all, I am so excited. I've never actually been into the Gulf Shop before, um, so I'm excited to show y'all around. We can explore, and then I'm gonna pick up my very own penguin. They have a bunch of cute things available for the kids. Plushies galore with all of the wonderful aquatic creatures. They have books and t-shirts and buy you the mascot. We just love him. Get your very own hoodie. It's a little chilly outside. This adorable turtle sweatshirt for the kiddos. It's got that cute little hood, the little pocket with the turtle, and then wait y'all. Oh my goodness, a little backpack with a little tail. Precious. Lots of wonderful coffee table books and fun hats. I love that they also have a ferry boat and a seaplane and a submarine, a wide variety. They have stickers and water bottles, pins, popcorn, lots of options. Oh my goodness, y'all. I had an amazing time at the Mississippi Aquarium. Getting to meet Pumpkin was just so special. And I did pick up my very own penguin. I'm so excited. So I got one of their reusable totes. Um, kind of like a little home, but let me show you this penguin. It is so fluffy and so cute. The wind today is a little crazy, so forgive me, but look how cute. I love it. And it's the next best thing to actually get into hang out with the penguin. Um, I highly encourage you to come check out the penguin encounters at the Mississippi Aquarium. Again, I'll drop a link to all of the information down below. It was just such a wonderful experience you don't get to do that i mean anywhere really so i love that they're offering this and sharing the message of conservation and promoting awareness for penguins that's it for me gulf coast gal please consider liking and subscribing to the youtube channel so you can stay up to date on more activities attractions like the mississippi aquarium with the penguin encounter and other amazing things you can only find here on the mississippi gulf coast